Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to downgrade your 32-bit devices if you already have your SHSH blobs, that means that you have to have saved them when Apple was signing that particular firmware using uh, the Odysseus tool. If you don't have your uh, blobs saved, then unfortunately you can't downgrade although if you would like to restore to the current firmware you are for example I own the iPhone 4s and uh, I want to keep it on iOS 7 but I don't have the blobs for that and I need to restore it there there is a way to grab the SHSH blobs from the device and I'm going to show you how to grab the blobs from the device and then restore to the firmware that you currently are, but uh, if you have uh, the blobs for older firmwares, uh, then you can use the exact same process to downgrade to that uh, older firmware. So, uh, at first go to the Odysseus website, I will post the link in the description. First of all, you have to scroll down and download Odysseus. <coughs> and while we wait for it to download, uh, you should go to ipsw.me and uh, select the firmware for uh, your device that you need to downgrade to and that you have your the blobs so I want the iOS 7.1.2 I'm not gonna download it because I already have it here and uh, it's kind of a big file so put that to download and wait until it's finished Alright, after Odysseus has finished downloading, drag the Odysseus folder to your desktop and uh, then the first thing we need to do is uh, we need to grab the blobs from our device. So first thing we need to do is open up a terminal window and type cd desktop slash Odysseus and press enter to go to that folder and uh, then you need to open that folder up and uh, open the Mac OS folder and drag your firmware inside here okay so first of all we need to create a custom firmware out of our original firmware that we have so the first thing we need to do is uh, let's scroll down so as it says here we have to download our firmware which we already have done Let's skip this part because uh, I assume that we don't have our blobs and we want to save the ones that exist on our device for our particular firmware. But if you already have the blobs, then you need to follow this step. We will do that later for the new blobs that we will dump from the device. So, first of all, we need to have uh, our phone connected uh, to our Wi Fi network. Let's open up a new terminal for our SSH and uh, then just type cd uh, desktop odysseus and then cd mac os and now you can just copy and paste this command let's copy and paste it and when it says device ip you should input your device ip mine is uh, this you can find your device IP in your device settings under Wi-Fi and uh, yeah after you press enter uh, wait it will wait for the connection to happen you may need to unlock your phone so it connects to the Wi-Fi and uh, now it asks us for our root password which should be Alpine if you haven't changed it but uh, you should change it uh, to be more safe so then input your password you won't see anything while you type it and press enter wait for it to do what it needs to do and uh, after you see transferred and disconnected you will see this compressed folder called baseband tar this contains your phone's baseband that you need to build the custom IPSW as it says here, you should check the, the size of your baseband. So mine is uh, 20 megabytes, which is good because uh, if it's zero bytes, it's fine. If you have other errors, you should not continue and retry this step. Okay. 
After this, uh, you need to build your custom IPSW. So what you need to do is uh, copy the second command. I will have all of this in the description. And uh, you can paste it here. And uh, then we need to change some parameters. Just delete the downloaded IPSW and uh, just type iPhone and just type the name of the firmware that you downloaded. So you can just type iPhone and press tab and uh, it will fill in the rest. And I also like to change the custom IPSW to 4S uh, 7.1.2 custom so I know what's this and uh, it says to use the slash memory parameter only if you have more than 4 gigabytes of RAM since I have 16 then it's fine and for the baseband tower it's just a compressed baseband that we just dumped from our phone so let's press enter this will start uh, building our custom IPSW it might take some time because it's a big file and uh, create uh, a custom file so if you see this and you see no errors then everything is going fine so I'm going to cut to after my firmware is done okay so after our firmware has uh, finished building you will see this screen here and uh, you will find your custom firmware built in into the folder and if you open it it should be the size of our original firmware and a little bit bigger because we added our baseband inside. So the next thing we need to do is uh, extract the IBSS from the custom firmware we built. So we just go here and copy the command and paste it. So uh, what we need to do now is uh, because I renamed my IPSW just change uh, the parameters here for us okay let me delete that then just press enter and uh, as you see we just created a file called pwned ibss now let me clear this up so it's easier for you to see and uh, now that we have uh, now that we have our custom firmware for for me, I need to dump my SHSH blobs found on the device. So I'm gonna go up and follow this part of the tutorial. So now that we have our custom firmware, we just need to extract our IBEC from the firmware. So we copy the command here. We go back uh, and put the name of the custom firmware we created and then just press enter so this creates a file called pwned ibec as you can see here let me make this bigger so everything can be seen so now that we have this we need to boot our phone in pwned mode now it's best to connect your phone to your computer uh, you don't need it yet because ssh works over wi-fi but then for the i recovery here we need to connect our phone, so I prefer to connect it now. So wait until your phone is connected and then we can continue. So we now need to boot our phone into pwned mode. So we paste this command where it says device IP. We just use our device IP that we found before. Press enter and we put our password and as you can see you may see some things flashing on your device and uh, the device now should have uh, entered DFU mode that means that your screen will be turned off no backlight no nothing but the phone will be turned on and uh, it will be into DFU mode device firmware upgrade mode so that is uh, what you want to do and now you just copy the next command to boot into recovery mode so you can leave this you can go to another terminal we need to go to the Mac OS folder and then paste this and uh, just press enter if it says that failed to connect you just unplug 
and plug your phone back in and try again and now it will your device uh, it should be into recovery mode so you should see this and uh, your screen should have turned on but it should be black but the backlight will be on so if you see this then you're good just press X and uh, right click here and quit iTunes and uh, now what we should do is uh, type kill all iTunes helper to just kill everything that has to do with iTunes and then we have to grab our device blobs using these commands so we copy them let me clear this window paste the first command so now you're connected to your device uh, with iRecovery and you just type what you see here so slash send and uh, dot dot slash pay load it says successfully uploaded file and then you type go blobs press enter you wait uh, it says blobs copied and then you type slash exit the connection has been closed and then we need to copy this second command here and copy that paste it press enter wait for it to finish what this will do is uh, connect to your device and copy and create this file this file contains your blobs so this file is precious very precious and now you need to just reboot your device so you just connect back with uh, iRecovery and type reboot and after you press enter your device uh, should start rebooting now we have our sh sh blobs into this file and uh, we must validate and check that the blobs are correct so what we need to do is run these commands to validate them and uh, let me clear this and uh, paste it so where it says my blob dot dump is uh, whatever you name your blob if you didn't change the command it's fine uh, where you say my blob dot list it is the name of the blobs that we will extract from the dump and the matching IPSW you should delete that and just type your custom firmware that you created and after you press enter this should be fine as you see here now I got my my phone just rebooted so everything is fine you got your myblob.list this file contains your blob in XML format if you see any errors here that is bad you should not see any errors here I would also would like for you to just copy this into uh, a text editor that you have so just paste it here and leave it there for now and now just copy the second uh, command and uh, paste it so where it says matching IPSW just do the same use your custom firmware press enter and uh, if you see any errors here this means that the blobs are not correct if you see that my blob dot list seems usable for this particular ECID then your blobs should be fine and uh, they should be usable so now we have our blobs dumped here this file contains the blobs so if we open it up we can see that it has like our blobs here which is good and uh, what we need to do now we're going back to step 5 because this is where we stopped what we need to do first of all we need to put into this folder our valid sh sh blobs okay uh, but as it says here they should be named ecid i device model version dot sh sh so i'm gonna need you to rename your file to first of all copy the ecid let me make the name as it should be so it should be your ecid dash 
then your device i device model is what this firmware says here so mine is iphone uh, 4 comma 1 and then your uh, version so 7.1.2 and uh, dot sh sh so this should be the name of your uh, blobs so copy that and uh, take this file rename it so take the dot place also and paste this so after you press enter just press here that says use ssh so we change the ending and just put it into this folder so this folder should contain our blobs named our device uh, ID our uh, device model and the version so now after we have our blobs we are ready to start the restoring process so now we are ready to start the restore process so first of all we need to put our phone into pwn dfu mode I would advise uh, to unplug your phone at this point paste this command, input your device IP press enter wait for it to ask for your password input your password and uh, yeah, after that your device should be into DFU mode so what you need to do now is uh, yeah I would open up iTunes and uh, connect my phone right now to check if it recognizes okay so it says recovery mode so this is good it means that the iPhone is indeed in DFU mode now you need to exit out of iTunes kill it from here you can press Control C here to stop that command and type kill all iTunes helper to just be careful of the capitalization of the letters uh, and your spelling of course okay now we've exited out of iTunes and uh, then what you need to do is just start the restoring process and uh, to do this you just replace it with your custom firmware and just press enter and let's hope it works I've never done this before so I hope it will work so let's see after it says done it should be fine because it says restore finished and uh, my phone just finished uh, rebooting and uh, it's on the setup screen everything uh, went fine it's still on iOS 7.1.2 and uh, yeah I'm gonna go through the setting up process uh, activate it and then restore my my handmade backup not from iTunes just I backed up through SSH all the files I needed so I'm just gonna have a clean phone on the 7.1.2 if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below and uh, if any of you guys need more explanation on how to do this if you already have all the blobs that you need I can make another video to show you that it's not that hard if you understood the steps you just follow these commands Otherwise, if you already have your SHSH blobs, you don't need to follow these steps to grab the blobs. You just need to follow the instructions from 1 to 8 here. Uh, other than that, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you could follow along with what I was doing. And uh, I hope that everything goes fine and your device gets downgraded or restored to whatever firmware you would like. Thanks for watching.